Uh, so, Miller, thank you so much for joining us, and welcome back to KKMS Live. Yes, thank you for having me. Well, last time we had you on, I think you are on your way down to uh, Louisiana for the Katrina victims, and you were going to be building some homes down there. How did that trip go? Well, that was uh, very, very interesting. Well, that was a project of, the, of my new organization, the Fuller Center for Housing, mm -hmm. and we've been able to uh, get up 24 houses in Shreveport. It's called our Building on Higher Ground. Uh, these are for the thousands of families that fled the Gulf Coast and for whatever, for different reasons were not able to go back or didn't want to go back. Uh, so we've been building houses uh, in northwest Louisiana, and uh, we'll build another uh, uh, quite a number of additional houses this year, including uh, uh, 15 houses in a week. We'll do in September 10 new ones and renovate uh, five others uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in a blitz, what we call a blitz build. What inspired you to uh, to found uh, Habitat for Humanity? I, I was raised in a Christian home, and, uh, you know, since uh, early childhood, I have wanted to do that which was pleasing to God. I was baptized and, uh, and sought to live a Christian life to the best of my ability. But what I got into, uh, sort of uh, drifted into it without uh, much thought, was just into a, a life of materialism, where I was uh, just in a headlong... Uh, uh, rush, you might say, to to get rich, and uh, and did in fact get rich. Uh, I was a millionaire before I was thirty years old, uh, and paid a price for it. Though uh, I, I really married the girl of my dreams when I was in high school. Uh, when when I when she was just in high school, I was in law school. Mm -hmm. But uh, married her and uh, took her down to the capital city of uh, of Alabama, Montgomery, and sconced her in a beautiful house, had a Lincoln Continental to drive, and maids, and cabin on the lake, and two speed boats, and 20 riding horses, and a thousand acres of land, and just everything from a material standpoint, but uh, she didn't have a husband because I worked all the time, yep. mm -hmm. and, and we drifted apart, we almost were divorced, and it was out of that marital crisis that both of us, decided that God did not put us on this planet just to pile up uh, material possessions. Mm -hmm. And so we felt in our situation, God was calling us to divest ourselves of our wealth and seek a life of Christian service. And that led us to a small Christian community near America's Georgia, a place called Cornelia Farm. And it was there that uh, the seeds were planted for a ministry which was initially called Partnership Housing, and it evolved into... Habitat for Humanity, and now, within the last couple of years, the Fuller Center for Housing. Bearing fruit of what God has done for us. And so what Lee and I always do on the show is we, we try to bring attention to people. These are ministries. Here's where God's at work. Here, right. This might be something for you. You know, A lot of them might not be, but this might be the thing that's going to rev your engine. And that's the thing, Miller. Right. Listen how much enthusiasm that you have. And you're not exactly <laughs> in your 30s anymore, right? And, <laughs> it's a little but, beyond 30. Exactly. <laughs> but, but you still have a great deal of energy because you're excited. And, you, you know, you're doing... Uh, things for the Lord, you're manifesting His love for others, and you're bringing others to to Him through your work, and that's what and that's what gets you jazzed up, right? Absolutely. Now, I haven't read anywhere in the Bible that says, "Take up the cross and follow me till you're 65 or 70, and then lay it down and take up a fishing pole in <laughs> Florida." Right. Exactly. <laughs>